Welcome back to Instables, everyone. So again, as we mentioned yesterday, looking at our increase in sell pressure and now leading into today, continuing on with that sell pressure again from our increase in sell pressure from earlier in the week. As you guys can see here now on a pullback, retesting our 21 day moving average. What exactly should we look for from here? I'm going to go over exactly what we're looking for from here. Hit the like button if you enjoy. Subscribe if you are new to the channel. And if you are a day trader, if you're looking for pre-market news, before market open, major volatile movers at very key levels like we mentioned here with IDAI just before market open here on a pullback looking for that possible continuation. Continue to respect our eight five minute moving average here. Continue to respect and continued on all the way to $2.89 again above our $2 psychological level that we we're looking for above pre-market high here. Again, major levels that we were looking for in the Instables room on a very nice run. Again, one of many that we mentioned throughout the week. Go to instables.com in the description below. And for only $15 a month, you will never miss a breakout alert throughout the day again. Let's turn into this one. So jumping into the spy with you guys here again, looking at our daily candle structure again, as we sit on a gap down again, mentioned yesterday that we would look for that possible continuation on lower if we were bears on the one hour chart again mentioned that we would be looking for that continuation on lower if we dropped below 355 again our bearish case scenario a nice continuation on lower if you did play into that now looking at the daily chart as we now test our 21 day moving average we can assume a possible bounce but we also can assume a possible continuation on lower if bears continue on with strength to the downside so from here we want to see a possible open to the upside we want to see any possible bearish case scenario from here if our eight day is going to continue to curl down here so again if our eight day continues to curl down here and drops below our 21 day again those larger reaction moves will be getting that respect on our eight day to the downside from here and looking for those bearish candle structure setups from there so again those are going to be the larger reaction moves that we're looking for simply looking for our eight to drop below our 21 and get that continuation on respecting resistance to the upside for more support to the downside so that's what you would be looking for as a bear from here but as far as bulls if we happen to open higher going to tomorrow possible inside bar candle and we get a possible bounce back above our eight day and our eight day starts to curl up here that will be that continuation play here and in my opinion a nice gap up that we would be looking for to our 462 again possible overextended continuation here that we would be looking at again from major resistance that we have but again as we sit on a rejection we are cautious to the upside looking to see if we do jump back above our eight day and currently our eight day is curling down now dropping out of our trend line that we had to the upside now looking to see if we do open with an inside bar candle going to tomorrow and if we do continue to curl down with our eight day back below our 21 will be the large watch here going into tomorrow now looking at our weekly candle structure the most important here in my opinion of them all is here on the weekly again looking at our engulfing candle we are fully covering our prior bodies candle we are not covering our prior wick so that does show that we don't have a complete engulfing candle but that we are covering our prior bodies candle so we can assume that we could possibly continue on and retest our eight weekly moving average for that possible continuation from here so again that's what we're looking for from here what exactly this candle will close as if we will possibly close it with a wick to the upside possibly bounce back above again our eight day and possibly get that hammer candle with our wick to the downside with our eight weekly moving average continuing to point up that would be our bullish case scenario so that's what we're looking for as far as our weekly candle structure and what the possibility of what can happen next is now looking at our monthly candle structure again as we were leading into multiple weeks to the upside on our monthly chart now sitting with an inside bar open from our prior monthly close so again we are sitting on a pullback looking for that possible consolidation for that continuation on bullish momentum if we want to see that bullish case scenario but considering that we do have our eight monthly moving average that does need to continue to curl up here and that we will need to continue to respect to the upside and currently sitting within resistance we can assume maybe we do have a possible retest before we do continue on higher possible nice dips that we may have coming if not we will again have that confirmation jumping back above our eight day moving average to possibly continue on back higher here and again it will be clear in my opinion for that continuation and play there now again with that said if you are a day trader if you're looking for pre-market news before market open major volatile movers at very key levels that you want to be watching for example i mentioned idai this morning in pre-market looking for 
So that possible continuation on a pullback here. Continue to respect our 8.5 minute moving average here. Continue to respect on consolidation to the upside and hitting $2.90 on the day. Again, from our $2 psychological level that you could have been looking for or sitting here on this pullback. If you were playing a higher risk pullback here looking for confirmation, go to instables.com in the description below. And for only $15 a month, you will never miss a breakout alert throughout the day again. And again, all of you instables, I appreciate every one of you guys that have been supporting the channel. Looking forward to going at it tomorrow on pre-market as always. Again, continuing to take what the market gives us like we had here with IDAI is what we will continue to do. And again, if you guys do like this video, it does help the channel grow. And again, if you guys do like this video, it does help the channel grow. And I do appreciate it very much. And again, God bless you all. And I'll see you guys in pre-market.